Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to be having a look at this Vax Power Reach handheld vacuum cleaner. What? Oh, it's completely the wrong thing. This is not a Vax Power Reach. This is a Bissell Spot Lifter handheld deep cleaner. Well, <laughs> there's a funny story. Well, fairly funny story behind this. I did order from eBay a Vax Power Reach handheld mains powered vacuum cleaner. And um, what the seller sent me was this Bissell Spot Lifter. I used to have one of these and sold it ages ago. And it was quite good from what I remember. So, of course, a normal person would say, take this back. I want what I ordered. Well, I asked how much the seller wanted for this. So I did actually pay for this. But the seller fortunately, put that to one side, did eventually send me what I ordered, which was this, how on earth? You know, I've seen some mistakes before on eBay, but how on earth can you mistake that for that? Not really sure. They're both handheld cleaners, but one is a Bissell, one is a Vax. One is for cleaning up spillages and spots and stains and one is for dry use only. But anyway, so I'll do a video on this one at a later date. So I'll put that to one side because that's not today's video. Today, I'm going to finally be looking at the Vax Power Reach. Now this was an impulse purchase. It was on a buy it now. I just happened to see it when I was browsing eBay. I wasn't looking for it, but I quite like the idea of this handheld machine. Now, of course, if you're watching this from the USA or Canada, you probably got this under the Dirt Devil brand. It doesn't mean to say that Vax copied Dirt Devil. I've had many comments on videos where I've been told that's a copy of so-and-so. How can they get away with it? Well, they don't. Vax and Dirt Devil are part of the same company, as is Hoover in the USA. They're all owned by the same company, and sometimes they share different designs to sell in different countries. Bissell, again, they do it with the GTEC Air Ram. You can buy that in the USA under the Bissell name. It's not copied, it's licensed. They, they wouldn't be able to copy things, you know, down to the last screw and get away with it. So if you see something that looks almost identical, apart from the color or brand, it's quite okay. It's not counterfeit, it's allowed. Anyway, what I liked about this was it has a detachable nozzle. It's a handheld cleaner with a revolving brush, similar sort of like the Dirt Devil Handy or Hoover Brush Vac, but you can actually remove the brush from the front of the cleaner and use it in tight spaces. And I thought, what a good idea. What a good idea. So let's have a look at it. I believe this is 800 watts. So quite a powerful handheld device. Ideal for your stairs, your upholstery, car or caravan, perhaps. And we've got instructions. And this is model V034. And here's the cleaner. Quite large for a handheld. Oh, this has actually got, oh no, it's not a, it's the option to extend the guarantee, but obviously this is quite an old, oldish model. It's not available anymore as such. Obviously I managed to get one, but you won't see it on Vax's website. As I said, if you're watching this in another country, this is probably a Dirt Devil. I think it's it will be in the Dirt Devil Red. So yeah, for a handheld vacuum, it's quite big. Not too heavy, I suppose. You can see also it's got a built-in hose. Here's the mains cable. And also at the back, we have a little crevice tool. And if you didn't know what it was, it actually says crevice tool printed on it. That just slides into the back there and clicks into place. So I'll just uh, undo the ties on the cable. Looks like it's a, a decent length of cable. It'll certainly reach up the stairs. 
because as I said, this machine is ideal for stair cleaning. So, yeah, nice, nice long cable, but for handheld, it is big. If I was to get a Hoover brush vac and put it next to it, it's probably more than double the size of a Hoover brush vac. It's got quite a large capacity uh, bagless container. There's a little catch here at the back, it says release. And that should, there we go, that releases this bagless container. You can see the filter inside, it's see-through so you can see the dirt. So to empty it, you have to remove the filter and then tip the dirt out and then that filter can be brushed clean or vacuum cleaned using another vacuum. I expect it's washable, I'll have to check the instructions for that. But it, uh, yeah. I think that tucks in like that. Make sure it's in correctly in the right way. And just behind there we can see the fan. Just about see the fan. And obviously the motor will be behind the fan. So we'll pop that back until it clicks. Nice firm click. And then we've got the hose which you can remove there's a little catch so you can take the hose off and it's a stretch hose now obviously it doesn't have to stretch far because you're normally holding the cleaner with the other hand so directly onto the hose we can put the crevice tool so again you know for the car between the seats down the side of your sofa around the edges of your stairs where dust and pet hair can gather you can just take the hose off and direct the crevice tool. So that's a handy thing to have and it's always on board. No other accessories. It would have been nice to have a little dusting brush attachment perhaps. I'll have to see what sort of diameter that is. Uh, I might be able to fit another generic nozzle onto there if I wanted to. So to use it as a regular handheld, we'd make sure the hose is in position and locked in and then you turn the cleaner on using this rocker switch on off and this is how you'd use it for cleaning your stairs and your upholstery your pet bedding inside your car your caravan sofa or seats whatever they call them in a caravan I should know I'll have to try it in my caravan but you can see underneath nice metal base plate which I like to see so you've got a revolving brush now when I first saw this cleaner I thought that's clever it's got a powered it's got a motorized brush that can be removed unfortunately no now this does rotate at high speed but it's a turbo brush I assumed before I looked into this a bit closer I assumed that this was a power hose and when you detached the front nozzle it would still carry uh, the power to a small electric motor I assumed this was a twin motored handheld cleaner but no I was wrong it's air powered so use it like this as I said in its normal mode and then if you want to detach the power nozzle you've got a little button here so you press that button and then ta -da, you can slide this nozzle off and you've got another carry handle built in so I can use this in my car holding the unit with one hand and this will get under the seats better it's a bit you know hard to get a whole bulky unit It'll also be useful on the risers of the stair easier to clean the stairs I could clean the whole stair like this and the risers but I thought what a clever idea but it isn't powered I'll show you the machine in action obviously but it is just a turbo nozzle and you can take the turbo nozzle off and if there was another way of connecting another hose from another vacuum cleaner you could if you wanted to because this is like a standalone thing it's like a turbo nozzle 
But I think it's a very clever idea. It's a shame it's not powered, properly powered. And these brushes, mm, they're a bit soft. But I have to see how well this machine works. But I just think that's why I bought it because I thought, hey, that's that is a clever idea. So to put the nozzle back, you just slide it on. You see, there's this bracket at the back and a slot there. So we just slide it on until it clicks like that. And then, of course, you have to make sure that the hose is in properly and locked into place. And let's move that to carry handle back down. That's it. So there you have it. Let's have a look at the, I think it was 800 watts. So yes, this is a model V034, 230 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 800 watts. 016719, made in China. Okay, I'm about to switch this cleaner on. Headphone users, beware, this may be quite noisy. Yes, it is quite noisy, uh, but it's got a good lot of suction on it, definitely. I'll get my suction gauge, that'll be interesting, just to see how much suction this little cleaner can produce. I did notice as soon as I took the hose off, the brush roll stopped. So obviously it will do, because it works using the air flow. Now let's just pop that back on, make sure that's on. It locks in place, there's a little button. So, even with the nozzle detached, I'm going to turn it on again. As I expected, the brush does slow down on this carpet. It might go faster on my upholstery and my stair carpeting. I'll have to check that in a minute. But we can just slot that back in. Like that, click it into place, and then we're back to using it as a regular handheld. Before I use this cleaner any further, I think I'll do the old suction test before we clog up the filter. It's already got a little bit of dirt stuck to it, just from a very small bit of demo. So if I put down lots of dirt, that filter is obviously going to clog and reduce the airflow. So with a almost clean filter, it'll be interesting to see what suction power this little Vax Power Reach has. Okay. Just locate it on the end of the hose and we'll see how powerful this little machine is. Well, it was up to 72 on the suction gauge, which is pretty good for a handheld cleaner, although it is quite a large bulky handheld cleaner but certainly easier to do your stairs and possibly an upright with the hose but what I did find in that uh, brief demo on the upholstery the uh, turbo nozzle does slow down quite a bit to, and it reduces the effectiveness and having such soft brushes it's nowhere near as good 
as my Hoover brush vac in that respect or even the Dirt Devil Handy because they are driven of course the, the brush oil is driven by the motor um, which is normally more effective as long as it's got a good belt a motor driven brush roll will always in my my experience clean better than a turbo brush roll because of course a turbo brush roll is dependent on the suction power and as the suction power reduces so does the speed of the brush and the ease of it slowing down when you put it onto a surface it's already quite warm and I've not used it very much but it's a, a nice little cleaner to have I think it's an unusual design with the uh, detachable power nozzle I don't know if I've seen any other type of handheld that does that obviously the Dirt Devil branded one will but it's probably nicer to use actually in that mode anyway let's uh, pop upstairs well I'll clean my stairs with it I haven't vacuumed my stairs for a few days so it'll be interesting to see how much dirt it gets out without me actually putting any dirt down you can see just from a very little area I've cleaned cleaned my footstool and a bit of a chair and a little bit of the carpet there is some dirt on the filter and a little bit of dust inside the container. You'll be able to rinse that container out if you want to keep it clean. Obviously make sure it's dry before using it again. And also make sure that the filter cage is properly located before putting the bagless container back. Well, this Vax Power Reach seemed to do a good job on my stairs, and because I've got a short pile carpet, it didn't seem to reduce the speed of the brushes. They seemed to be going around at a fair rate of knots, and uh, it was grooming the carpet somewhat, even though it's such a short pile. It is good for the corners as well, because I can just detach the hose, put the crevice tool on, and do all the corners because a lot of dirt collects in the corners and you don't often get those every time you clean your stairs and of course with the detachable front nozzle that was ideal for cleaning the risers of course you can use the machine as it is to clean the risers but it makes it a little easier to uh, have the detachable revolving brush bar what i will say about this and it's why i've had to reduce the noise level on that part of the video it is very noisy especially when you're cleaning your stairs because the noise just sort of reverberates off the walls and my ears are ringing after that cleaning session so yeah very very noisy for a small vacuum 
and let's have a look what it's picked up I haven't vacuumed my stairs for maybe three days and this is just off one flight of stairs I mean some of this dirt was picked up previously but not much you can see a lot of it has stuck to the filter oh and it's gone Ooh, look it's gone inside at the moment not a lot of dirt in the bin this is the trouble with cleaners like this all the dirt of course is attracted to the cloth filter because it's not cyclonic in any way shape or form according to the instructions this filter is washable it doesn't say how to wash it it just says wash it carefully so don't put it in your washing machine on a boil wash I would just rinse it initially under running water until the water's clear squeeze it out and just leave it to dry I'd pull out this part of the filter completely and then just leave it somewhere to dry not over direct heat source and then when it's dry just pop that back in but if it's very very dirty if you bought this second hand some mild washing powder washing detergent won't do it much harm I wouldn't have thought to swirl it about rinse it and of course make sure it's a hundred percent dry before you pop it back into the dust container well to end the video I'll just put down a little bit of dirt it's always fun to see how well a vacuum copes with an extreme amount of dirt obviously it's not the sort of dirt you'd come across in your regular cleaning this is when I showed you cleaning the stairs that's you know genuine dirt for my stairs not extra dirt I've put down but I like to see a vacuum cleaner picking up far too much dirt just to see how well it copes so I'm just gonna put some dirt down and then <laughs> that will be the end of the video <coughs> Well folks, as you could see, the air driven brush is no longer rotating because I think the suction has become so weak. Although saying that, let me just see what it's like through the hose. Well, there's still suction there, but uh, unless something's clogged up, because this has got, um, you can't see it quite, but there is a little um, turbine. Uh, it might be because it's clogged up with too many sand particles. Obviously, I've done an extreme demo. I'll turn it on again. No, no. It doesn't like it. I think it might improve. I'm going to empty all this out and give the cloth filter a quick vacuum and see if I can finish picking up all this mess 
but yeah as i said it's extreme you're not likely to find rolled oats and sand and tea in your carpet that's what us folk that demonstrate vacuums do to our carpets but the regular person they're not that silly but you know it's picked up picked up all this so oh it's trapped a lot in the filter as well so i'll give this an empty give this a quick vac and hopefully finish the demo okay well i've emptied the container and given the filter a quick clean so hopefully that's what's caused the issue but i think when i end this video i'm going to have to take the base plate off and see if i can use another vacuum to suck out any muck that may have got caught inside Oof, it's all very gritty Well folks, I've had to abandon my demo on the Vax Power Reach before finishing the job because I just can't get the brush to rotate properly. I'm going to have to undo it with a screwdriver. Well, that'll teach me for doing an extreme mess on something that isn't designed to cope with it. So, because I've done this in my hall and I'm expecting a delivery today, I better vacuum all this up using something a little bit more substantial. Well, that's the end of my Vax Power Reach demo. It started very well, but ended quite badly due to the fact that I put down far too much dirt for this machine to cope with. When it was cleaning, it cleaned very well. It did uh, a good job on the stairs. If you can put up with the extremely loud noise it makes. Incidentally, the mains cable is eight meters long, which is more than enough reach to get up even the longest flight of stairs. So for stairs upholstery, car and caravan it's okay as long as you don't do a silly thing and put down too much dirt i'm now going to have to undo more screws to open this nozzle fully give it a good clean out and hopefully it'll work as it should well if you have any comments or questions about the vax power reach please comment below and i'll see you all very soon for the next video bye for now